Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 132 of Photo Critiques. Now I'm sure mostly everyone's heard that I'm not accepting any new images for critique. Um, I will be doing critiques for a while though. I have a big backlog of uh, people waiting for me to do their critique. So I'll be doing them through February and into March, but I'm not accepting any new images. In the description of this video there's a link. You could click on it. You could uh, see a short article I wrote where I explain why I'm not going to be doing critiques anymore and what I'm going to be doing instead of critiques. So check that out. Now as I mentioned this is episode 132 and in this episode I'm pleased to critique the work of Daniel Fedorovich. I hope I pronounced that right. And Daniel sent me some nice images. And this first one, I consider this an art image. It's kind of, um, you know, like very moody. You know, you know, danger, no swimming over here. It's in this moody black and white. We have these uh, just leafless branches coming off across here. And I think it's a very nice art image. Very well done. A, I like this image a lot. The dog in here helps offer some scale, get an idea how big everything is. And it's um, very nice exposure. It was 1 200th of a second in F8, ISO 200, 18 millimeters. The only thing I could say it is, it's it's dark. It's not a silhouette because the sun is way over here, but everything over here is really dark. And you could just do a quick check. If you go over here on um, Lightroom on the right panel when you're in the Develop module, and you look at the histogram, you could see how it's spiked up towards the left. And if you just hover over this left triangle, you could see all that blue over here. When I do that, all that blue is clipped. So those are just inky black, no detail in that uh, blue area at all. So you, you're not getting any detail showing through over here. So it's a little dark is what I'm getting at. So, you know, this is all personal you know, taste, but you you might want to pull shadows up a little bit. Um, oops. I don't think it uh, adversely effect, affects this picture at all. As a matter of fact, I think it might help. It gives a little more detail in the sand and um, a little more detail out in here. This next shot, too, it's very dark in here. We have a nice leading line here. It lead us out, but there's really nothing to resolve on. This is, um, we've got a nice backdrop but there's really nothing else here to look at. So this is one where I think we need something else in the shot. We need a sailboat out here. We need somebody on a jet ski. Or we need um, you know, a bird coming across that's relatively close to the camera, something like that. And as you look at this one too, as I hover over this triangle, you can see all of that is just you know, ink black. There's no detail in there at that at all. Now this could be your style. If, if you like this, definitely um, do this, Daniel. But in most cases, in many cases, we don't want so much like stuff that's clip black because if you print this, this is just a big black blob of ink. There's no detail there at all. This is a nice shot. I kind of like this uh, the way you did this. This is offset over here to the uh, left. I said in a previous critique, if you're ever doing something that's a close-up but not really a full macro and you're given a lot of space around it, don't bullseye it. Have it off to the side and you did a nice job on this. But again, this one is, is it's still very dark. And in this one, I think if you turn up the shadows, there's going to be some, yeah, there's a lot of like hidden color in detail in here. If you could see, there's the before and there's the after. Now it's kind of, you know, I personal taste, as I said. But again, I'm thinking about if you ever want to print these and sell prints, it's better to give them, get them a little bit brighter. Now it could be maybe your monitor isn't calibrated right. And they do sell calibration uh, devices for, you know, uh, monitors. And they're a little device, you hang it in front of your monitor, run some software that comes with it and it will calibrate your monitor so that if you ever do a print the print should look should you know uh, hopefully look identical to what you see on your monitor then, you know again we got leading lines we got of uh, the uh, the um, old pier posts here we have the you know spray coming in it's a nice exposure one three twentieth of a second at f of eight. There still isn't really a subject. We have these leading lines. I guess this could be the subject, the the uh, surf hitting this, um, you know. But I think it would be better served if there was something else in this shot. Um, let's see. It's and it's still considerably dark. You could see all those uh, clipping blacks. 
So all those clipping blacks there, remember, as I mentioned, there's no detail there at all. So if you print it, it's just big blob of black ink. This uh, here, we got like this bleeding out over here. We have this coming up. It's uh, very dark again, um, as you can see. Um, I think and stuff like this, you want to show texture, and you might want to show some subtle color. So you have to bring shadows up a little bit to show that. So there's uh, before, and there's after. This shot, a lot of times I see uh, critiques. I've been getting a lot of shots of like old machinery buried in weeds. It's very interesting to look at. It's very difficult to photograph. It's because it's such a busy scene. It's just hard to get a really good like angle with your camera to really show off. I think you did the best job you could here. I don't think you could get a better picture than you did here. And I like the color. And I like what you did and how you have it framed. So I think you did a really nice job on this shot, Daniel. This is a really nice shot. You have a nice foreground element here off to the side. And then we have this one over to the right. And we go across the back here. This is a really nice, uh, uh, the way you compose the scene. I like it a lot. It is, again, a little dark as you go through that. There's a lot of clipping. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing to have a little bit clipping, a little bit. You know, you know, but I think on your generally on most of your shots, I I think it's just a little bit too much. As you can see, your the histogram spikes up here on this side, so there's quite a bit being clipped there. I think that might be the last one. Yeah. So um, actually, I like um, I like your uh, the way you're composing the scene is nice. I like how you're processing in general. The idea you get, I see what you're doing. I just think you're, we're a little dark. Like this one I brightened up. There was the original one. And this one's a little dark. That one I brightened up. That was the original I think was a little dark. Although there, you know, like I said, it's personal taste. This There is a whole different feel to this shot than there is to that shot. So it's kind of what your personal taste is. This one I think is a little dark. That one I brightened up. There was the original, I think it's a little dark. This one's a really, you know, a, a nice shot of a tough tough subject. And this one I think is a little dark. So that's it. I mean, just I think if you just watch your histogram and try to get it a little bit more towards the middle and not so much clipping, I think that your, uh, your uh, images would look a lot better, particularly if you're going to print them. So that's it for Daniel. Thank you for sharing your work with us. I really do appreciate it. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches all my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And if you have time, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com, and see all the photography stuff I have over there. And if you go over to YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.